Today, we're taking the car to get it detailed so we can take it to the convention center where they're gonna set it up in the booth. We don't know exactly how long it'll take. The detail shop said it was gonna take seven to eight hours, hoping it'll be quicker. I don't know, it could take them 10 hours. But we did try to clean up the best that we can. We're gonna take it over there now and see what they say. We we'll just have to make sure we don't get lost in the busy city. We didn't get a ticket, that's good. Okay. okay. All right, we dropped off the van. They're gonna detail it for the next seven hours, and we gotta figure out something to do. What's it looks gross, so. I wanna see the gross thing. No, it's not too. Play your hand. Play your hand. Ah! Ah! Daddy. Ah! Ah! Daddy. Ah! Daddy. Snacks and relax. Relax. Are you looking to see where we can go? Yeah. Or should we walk back to the hotel? So the plan today is we drop the car off at the detail shop and while it's getting clean there we take care of some birthday business for Mila which Mila's birthday is when? How many days from now Mila? Five days from now is Mila's birthday. So we have a few things that we ordered from Amazon. Another thing that we're doing here while we're in Germany is to take advantage of Amazon. Yes, Luca? No, six days. Six days is Mila's first birthday in Norway and in Yola. Uh, Yola. Papa, it's actually six days. Yeah, because Mila's last birthday was in the United States. That's how Marlene likes to say it. It's actually six days. The United States. It's actually six days. Six days. Okay. Papa. The stuff that we couldn't buy on Amazon, we'll have to find it somewhere locally at a store or something. So we'll do some research and figure that out. But in the meantime, we're gonna just walk back to the hotel. And then when we pick up the car at four o'clock, we gotta drive the car to the convention center and get it all set up in there. We don't know what to expect from there either because it's a really, really big convention hall. So big that they actually have the world's largest boat show there. And when I say boat show, I don't mean like little dinghies and stuff like yachts and sailboats and mega yachts go inside the convention hall that's how big this place is they even set up like a little artificial lake inside the convention hall and they do dinghy sailing apparently the uh guys that are building the dometic booth have been at it for over a week the show starts in like two days so by the time we get there they should be pretty close to being wrapped up at least we hope just outside of the hotel now. That was like uh, almost a mile to walk back, which is kind of where we are in relations to things. Everywhere it seems is like a mile in any direction. It's about a mile south to go to this car detail place. And it's about a little over a mile northwest to go to the convention hall. So I anticipate a lot of walking in our future. We don't typically like to stay in hotels or Airbnbs because there's a lot of moving in and moving out of our stuff in the van. It's much easier if we know where everything is in the van. But as the kids get bigger over the last year, for example, we brought a lot of our clothes. They've outgrown some of them. So this gives us a chance to kind of figure out what we need to get rid of and donate. And luckily we found a donation box. Why is there plant 
you wore that when you were like two? I think it was super yellow. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, there's Daddy's jacket. Daddy, why you have such a big jacket? I'll grab the bag. That's the rest of the bag. I'll grab the bag and push it up with us. This is a nice jacket wait, too. Wait, wait. That one's gonna be very lucky. You get that one. Yeah, even when you live in a van, you still gotta purge every now and then. So it's been about six hours since we dropped the van off this morning. I think it's a little after three o'clock. Supposed to be ready at four. So we're just gonna walk over there because once it's ready. We gotta drive it over to the convention hall. We might try to get a bite on the way. We'll see how the timing works out for us. And if the van is ready early, yeah, then we'll definitely have some time to maybe drive somewhere to eat. Otherwise, we'll have to take it to the convention hall and then figure out a way to get back and maybe eat along the way after. We're gonna do one last look around. They even cleaned the tires. Look how shiny the tires are. Try not to get it dirty for the next two miles. So we're trying to get into the convention hall now. We got, we picked up the van. They did a pretty good job cleaning. Nice guys, two Turkish guys and a Bulgarian guy who worked there that cleaned the vehicle. It's probably not been this clean since it was brand new. We're getting it dirty now, trying to find out how to get in the convention hall because it's a massive place, first of all. And then second of all, we were told to go to gate two, but then we went to gate two and the guy said, no, you have to go to gate one. And then we try to go to gate one, but gate one is like on this blocked off section of the road on the opposite side. So we couldn't get across. So, so now we're trying to drive back around to go to gate one. We shall see how this shenanigan turns out in a few minutes. Left or right, left or right. There's nobody here. <laughs> this is like a deserted highway. Okay, so I think we made our way around to gate one. At least we finally saw a sign that says gate one. Gate one, here. Yeah, this is where we turned around earlier. Oh yeah, okay. We're in the right <laughs> spot. All right, we somehow made our way to the other side of the barrier, which is where we need to be. I feel like we're just kind of on our own here. There's all these other people that are inside, but nobody really, like this is not, this whole ambassador deal is not a fully realized system where they have, they have people that help, we have people that we can call and talk to, but not everybody, there's not one person who knows everything. So we gotta be able to figure some stuff out ourselves. Here we go, entrance gate one. Wanna go out and talk to somebody? Me? Yeah, sure. Hi, this is a show car for Dometic and Paul 13. They told me to go to gate one to bring it to the convention hall. You come back? Yeah, the car stays, we leave, yeah. Okay, hall number 13. Number, hall 13. Okay. Thank you. Maybe it does look like that we're just trying to get in there to camp for free. They gotta have some kind of gatekeeper, I guess, huh? Let's put some stickers on, we're good. That's true. Stickers and stamps. Stickers and stamps mean everything. Lucky number 13. We made it. Maybe park back there, too. Park over here. Okay, we managed to get ourselves sort of tucked in here. Hopefully this guy doesn't need to leave because uh, he's pretty tight to me too. But we're gonna go inside and see where the car needs to go in. They're busy setting up right now, so we're just gonna try to take a look and stay out of the way. All right, here we are next to the exhibit hall. We're not sure exactly what part of hall 13 we're in, but at least we're off to the side here, sort of out of the way, but we're also ready to go up and down any of these doors and place the car in the spot so we're gonna go look and see where the spot is for us to park I'm gonna leave the camera because I don't know if I'm supposed to bring it in 
I'm guessing they're gonna make it look like a campsite. Okay, so I'm not supposed to video in here, but this is the Dometic booth being built. This is the spot where our van's gonna be. And there's some awnings on display. And up there on the top where you see that black strip, that's gonna be a big video wall. And our video is gonna be playing there. This is a very undercover, inconspicuous secret video I'm shooting. Okay, there it is. We're leaving the van here. That was Samuel we were talking to. Well, actually, you don't know. You didn't see him. Samuel, he's just walking by over there. He's the head of marketing guy for this European area. And uh, he's the guy who we've been working with through this whole ambassador program. So we went inside. There's still just a whole bunch of construction happening. There's no space yet for us to drive the van onto the floor and they're gonna put some like astroturf fake grass thing down that our van's gonna park sort of on top of or next to the whole setup video wall and all that stuff looks like it's not gonna happen until late this evening or possibly even tomorrow because inside it's just still a madhouse it was pretty impressive to see how big their space is and how many different things they're doing on that floor and they're dedicating quite a big space for our van which is kind of a humbling experience to see it in person. Tiger car! Tiger car! Tiger car! Tiger car! Tiger car! Our car doesn't have a tiger skin on it. Yeah. So sad. A little glimpse of other people set up right here. Just as we casually walk by, we're not videoing anything. Not, we're not. Not at all. We're not taking a not sneak peek. Exposing we're anything. not doing any um, sneak peeks. Nothing. Peaks. Nothing. No sneak nothing. Peaks. nothing. Not sure we're not leaking anybody's. Peaks. Not leaking anybody's uh, new product releases. No, not at all. But anyways, we're leaving the van here. They're gonna take care of driving it onto the show floor. Very impressed that Marlene is okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna. Go get a champagne, yeah. <laughs> some chocolate now. Okay. Calm my nerves. So that takes care of our involvement with this show for today and possibly tomorrow. I don't think there's anything going on tomorrow. Tomorrow they're still just gonna be building, building, building. And then Friday is um, like trade day. So it's not open to the public on Friday, but it is open to sort of trade organizations or other trade groups so it's like a business to business type open Friday we're doing like a meet and greet with trade people and then Saturday we're coming here to do like their opening thing they're gonna do a press release with us we've got a set of questions that they're gonna ask us during the press release so that should be interesting I mean there are questions that we've been asked a thousand times before never in this official manner with the audience with an audience in the public you're gonna do great dan <laughs> you're gonna do all the time <laughs> <laughs> as usual so okay now we're gonna find our way to get out of here go get something to eat go back to the hotel and have a beer secret shot of this sprinter base four-wheel drive mobile right here i'm totally not looking As usual, we're doing a lot of walking in cities. We decided to walk from the convention center to this Japanese restaurant that's like halfway between there and our hotel and then go eat there. So then after dinner, we can just walk back because I don't want to deal with taking a taxi, Uber, even though we get reimbursed for all the expenses here, it just seems like a big hassle because there's five of us, and none of these Ubers want to take five people. So I have to take two Ubers, and we have to split up, and it's just a big nightmare. And for something that's like, only like a little over a mile away, I don't know, seems easier to walk, but then again, they get pretty worn out from walking. So hopefully, there won't be too many long walking days like this while we're here. Oh, <laughs> you can show Daddy your sad walking face today. 
It's weird to me that they still have cigarette billboards here. There's a pho place. Yeah, but too hot. But maybe we'll come back and eat this another day. Because it's so hot. Yeah, it's too hot for pho. Well, this was the spot where we're going to eat at, but it doesn't look like they're open. Well, the good news is we're not that far from the hotel. I don't know. This place was closed. There's a couple sushi places around our... Yeah, but it's like past our hotel. It's like where we walked yesterday to the burger place. That's past. Yeah. That's in the wrong direction. Here's our spot. We're going to eat at this poke place. Hopefully it's good. It's a boat restaurant. Nope. Don't fall in. How's your salmon bowl? Hmm? At first, I thought you said ball. Oh, At first, I thought you said ball. Ba? Ball. Ball. How's yours? Not good. Really? Huh? Luca, are you eating yours? I got mango. Are you eating yours, Luca? Yep. I got mango. Cool. What did you get in yours? Avocado, pomegranate, mango, and edamame. It's good. Cool. Not bad. Oh, well, we found a place to eat. That was a poke place, which is not exactly authentic, but it was pretty good. It was more like a rice bowl because the, the fish was cooked. I don't know if there was an option to get it raw, but we enjoyed it. It was kind of expensive. It was like 11 euros for a relatively small bowl. So we ordered five bowls, one for each of the kids. We basically ate them all. And with drinks and beers, it came out to be like 73 euros, which is quite a lot for a place like this. But we talked to the owner, super nice guy. On our way out, he gave us each a free beer. Well, just me and Marlene, not the kids. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you need to wipe your nose. <laughs> it's hot. It's very hot. It's very hot today. It's supposed to cool off tomorrow, but still in the 80s. It's it's not be cooling off very much. Look at that guy. He's oh. oh yeah. Look at this cool guy. So anyways, we've got about a mile walk back to the hotel. We're gonna start heading that way. Tomorrow is a free day. Looking forward to that. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoy this little quick peek of the setup of Caravan Salon, even though I wasn't supposed to film in there, so I only got a little clip that I snuck out. This is the Rhine River. Yeah. Where does it go, Dan? It goes north and south. It goes down to Cologne and south.